Shalom Aleichem. Let us give the backstory of at least part of the Sicha. The Sicha Kisisa number one, quite a long Sicha in the edited version in the look of the Sichas, is a combination of Sichas that the Rebbe said on Shabbos Parshish Golim, Zohar, and Para in 1973, Tavshin Lam Gimel. That year it was two other, so this was all the Sash Golim, which is the end of Adar Aleph, this is all other base. Now, if you go into the Teres Benachem, the unedited version of the Sicha, on the final part of the Sicha, Parshas Para, Tavshin Lamed Gimel, in footnote 113, you see this fascinating concept, uh, footnote. Yesh Litzayin, it's important to note that in that era, that time, there was a person that the Rebbe was trying to prevent him from Rahman al um, converting to Christianity. And surprisingly, while the Rebbe was saying the Sicha, the person walked into Fabrengen. So in other words, this Fabrengen has him in mind. Now, it references you to, to Igris HaKadosh, Chelek Chavches, Leather Kufnun Zayin, uh, page Kufnun Zayin. And looking for the leather, it's leather Tafshin Lamed Aleph, 10,000 Tafshin Lamed Aleph. And this was said on Yud Zayin, Adar Sheni, Tafshin Lamed Gimel. And the Rebbe writes like this, Ein Noi it is totally inappropriate, obviously, to convert. Um, and this is definitely not what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants. Vishar kan ad lachar tishrei. So therefore, I want you to stay here till after tishrei. That's seven months from then. But even in a way, shenucha lachu biyachat kol agimur galim, that we'll be able to celebrate together all the three yamim tayim. This was just before Pesach, Shavuos, and then Sukkot. And then the Rebbe says in parentheses, v'chein yom uldasi, and also my birthday, which is quite like wow. Chein yom uldasi. We want to celebrate the three chagim together and my birthday. Including Simchastara. You should use the time to learn and to be ma'ayin, to really put yourself into it. Till you'll be able to give life to others. And Hashem will give him success. Because that is what Hashem wants. Ask about Tzien, I'll mention you at the Tzien. And then in the footnote it says that this is um, the, the Rebbe was trying to help somebody. Um, from converting, and actually this person wanted to become a priest, a Christian priest. And in the letter, he writes to the Rebbe that thanking the Rebbe for learning with him, but nevertheless he can't stay with the Rebbe anymore because of the Rebbe's approach to Oise Ish. And then this person came to the Fabringen of Shabbos Para, and a special sicha was dedicated to him. That's what it writes over here. So over here it's more blunt, that the sicha was actually dedicated to him. Now, which sicha is this? This is the final part of the sicha that we learned in Parshas Kisisa Aleph, which is an extensive sicha, multi multifaceted, the, the idea of Matbea uh, Shel Eish, the difference between Eish and Mayim, the Gavra, the Chefza, Kaifer Nafshoi, versus the fact that it's the actual Machza Shekel, why did Hashem have to show him? the Eish, and why does he have to show him the weight, etc., etc., as we've learned in the Sicha, quite deep and extensive. And then the Rebbe starts getting into, um, at the end, that Moshe Rabbeinu's big surprise, he says this in, uh, or in, in page, in, sorry, Ois test, Moshe Rabbeinu's surprise was, how can you do something which is against the Yidden's will? It's not even Kefi Neish Roitzani, but rather it's, you don't even care if he says right says ani or not when it comes to the machtas hashakel. You give it regardless of what the person says. H- how is it possible to accomplish anything? And the answer is because it's matbeah shaleish. It comes from the pnimius and the shama, and this is being masakin, the ultimate betrayal of Am Yisrael, which was cheta egel, and to be masakin that you can't have anything about rutzin or not. That's to go even deeper than that, and therefore it goes to the etzem and the shama. But nevertheless, it has to come in a way of weight. Mishkal has to come into tangible reality that actually affects the physical weight of reality.
Now, says the Rebbe, Nois Yod Aleph, that, um, the, that both Nekudas that we said in Machtis HaShekel, the fact that you have to give Nesina and Zegit Nu and the Chefza, they both are connected in the fact that it comes from Etzem HaNeshama, because Etzem HaNeshama is higher than any Giluim, so therefore it means that any giving that you give is quickly, without any Ischalkos, and it's not necess- it's not a comma sticker, it's not quantity, uh, quantity, but it's rather a quality, and it allows the person to truly transform. Fine. Then on Ois Yud Beis, the Rebbe starts saying like this, Undas is This is Aida. Sometimes you meet a Jew, and the Yid doesn't have any Geshmak in, in Limudat Torah. It's Mitzah Nashem They're doing it just the way, you know, just by rot, by robot. Kiguf B'Lein Neshama. And it feels like an oil. It feels like a yoke. And he just does it because he has no choice. Not even by like a slave, he just has no choice. So you have to know that when you think about it, with his braininess, in Chachma Sheva Nefesh, that will give a person, a, as he says, a trace, it will give a person a shake-up. The fact that he doesn't have a feeling in Navayda Hashem, and in fulfilling Hashem's Ratzin, and that itself will awaken Matveya Shel Eish, that Hashem should be able to help him. Says the Rebbe in the Ara 89 in the Lukut HaSechis, Yeserim is Yerushalayim, you could say even more than that, that that the person is in such a low level that they don't feel anything and they don't even want to keep the Ratzin of Hashem this itself comes from Hashem in order to awaken the Moshe Shabbat the Moshe the, 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 the Giras Hashem and then come to the fiery Matbeya, that Hashem will show you Gilead Sema Neshama be Mishkala that will affect in your weight the Machshav de Bermaisishma. Says the Rebbe in Shulei Agilian in the in the footnote to the footnote. Mikoshke minichatayim. This is a koshke. This is a a kavachaymer. This is a how much more so? If in Avera we know the Rebbe says comes Noir Alil of Neodah Hashem only causes it so that be read the Tzarech Aliyah. That's in Avera Chas V'Shalem. How much more so? Not in Avera. But just lack of passion, of course it is to awaken within you something incredible. Says the Rebbe like this. And now back to the unedited version of the Sikha where the Rebbe references, where it references the fact that that person walked into the Sikha. Says the Rebbe like this. That this is, the, this is also the theme of the famous story that was printed in Lakuti de Buru, Chelik Beis. That the Alter Rebbe related regarding the Magad Mesrich, that there was a certain person that got a Meshagas, <clears throat> that he started having major doubts in the Munna. And he was he was a he was in a terrible place. His father comes to the Magad screaming that his son wants to Shmadzech Lachmanzah. So the Magad came went into a major Dvekus and said a Torah, said the Chsidis on the Pasuk in the in Chumash Vayikra, Parshat Vayikra, Benefesh Kisechta. That a soul will sit. And the Zoyar says, Savar, it's a question. In other words, Nefesh ki sechta? Yeah, it's supposed to read it with a shayla. Is it possible that a soul can sin? What's the connection between a nefesh and a sin? Even a chisarin, chet milash chisarin doesn't make any sense. How much more so chet mamsh? And says the Nebuchadnezzar, through the Torah that the Magad the Mezrit said, a big wind came, a stormy wind came, and literally flew the younger man into the Dalit Amis of the Magid. And as he flew into the space, literally physically, his Meshagasim flew out of his head, and he became a Shemitari Mitzvah again. What is that, says the Rebbe? That this is that the Eish of the Shama, the Eish that we have, a wind comes and smashes the clipper because it's not even who you are, and it just it's just an imagination. And therefore, it doesn't make a difference if you want or not, it will awaken you. And that's when it's foot, it connects the footnote to the fact that this person walked into the Sikha. And then the Rebbe in Ois Yud Gimel of the Lakut Sikha says that when you demand from another Yid, when you're going out for another Yid and you're putting on tefillin, whether the person wants, doesn't want, it's irrelevant. When a person does it, and it's a weight, a filu nar nanefim from it's simply a weight, it's un, without tainug, without anything, 
But there kfiya, Hashem shows that's really Matbeya Shalesh. And that actually awakens that you'll eventually do it with the full passion of the Neshama. So it's just unbelievable how this Sicha, which is, you know, about Eish, like what the Rebbe was trying to accomplish for that yet specifically, the story of the Magid, and what obviously the Rebbe is trying to accomplish for us um, almost 50 years later. And in Mirza Hashem, the Rebbe's word should have its effect.